the association would like to pay tribute to a remarkable family that has worked closely with the Greater New York chapter since the family patriarch, Benjamin Vinci, was diagnosed with ALS in 1995. Benjamin, Benjamin Vinci was a true American hero, and I mean that in every sense of the word. Here's a story as shared by New York Senator Charles Schumer and former Senator Hillary Clinton. In 1941, at the age of 21, Benjamin Vinci left his home to serve the U.S. Army and by December of that year was stationed in Hawaii with the 97th Army Coast, Coast Artillery Guard. Like so many there on the morning of December 7, 1941, Benjamin Vinci was going about his daily business. He had just completed all-night guard duty and was eating breakfast when the whole base erupted in smoke and fire as Japanese warplanes attacked Pearl Harbor in the surrounding area. As bombers strafed the mess tent, a 50 caliber bullet hit Private Vinci in the back. But ignoring his wound, Benjamin Vinci reached an anti-aircraft emplacement and began to fight back. He stepped down only when he was ordered to find an ambulance and tend to his wound. Along the way, instead of seeking cover, Benjamin Vinci ran down the beach and rescued a man who had been shot through the legs. Helping the other soldier onto the motorboat, he navigated through a hail of bombs and ammunition to the other side of the bay where he finally boarded an ambulance. But on the way to the hospital at Hickam Field, planes targeted the ambulance, and Benjamin Vinci was wounded again, this time a 50 caliber bullet coming, rest, coming to rest near his heart. In the aftermath of the attack, doctors believed Private Vinci's wounds were fatal, but he persevered. He received the Purple Heart and eventually was transferred to a hospital in Colorado where doctors were able to remove one of the two bullets that had almost taken his life, but not both. He carried that second bullet his entire life until he lost his fight with ALS in 2002. Benjamin was an Amer American hero, and so too are his children and his grandchildren for all their efforts to continue the fight against ALS in his memory. His four children, Joseph, Bernadette, Joanne, and Pete, took care of their father during his seven-year battle against ALS. Through their experience, they work closely with the Greater New York chapter and have been involved in ALS advocacy since the day the ALS Association created an advocacy department. In fact, <clears throat> Benjamin's son Pete attended the very first National ALS Advocacy Conference in 1998 and has made the trip to Washington ever since. His son Peter and sister Bernadette have joined him at this conference for the past 13 years and continue to actively speak out and take part in the fight to find a treatment. After Benjamin Vinci was diagnosed with ALS in 1995, Peter wanted to do something special for his father to carry on the Vinci name. Pete made a promise to his father saying that one day your name will be in the major leagues. On your tables are baseball gloves manufactured by the company Pete Vinci founded. Benjamin Vin Vinci's signature is on each one of them. It's on each one of these gloves. The signature inside is a tribute to Benjamin and to all the people with ALS and their families. It is a symbol of hope, inspiration, and courage. 
the traits that describe Benjamin Vincy, his family, and all people with ALS. I'd like to thank the Vincy family for all that they have done and continue to do in the fight against ALS. Would you come forth, please? Thank you very much. We are honored to receive this award. Our dad's fight and love for life has inspired us to be part of this wonderful organization. This event means everything to my family. And we are here for each and every one of you today. We are proud of you. Thank you for all your efforts. My brother Peter has been coming here for 18 years and we will be coming every year until we have a cure, and we will have a cure. So today, as you hit the hill, good luck, and go get them. <laughs> <laughs>